What is up guys? It's Greg. Back at it with uh, another video. Um, right now riding my bike. Which I bought for $50. It's going down the neighborhood. At least they put this bike trail up. It's nice. Actually gonna go in the trail see if see if I can do this. Here, let me uh, cross the street. It's not really out here. They just built this road through here. Oh shit, wrong side of the road. Put the button off. I stole it. There's the woods. Pretty chill back there. This teenager I used to um, drink and party back there. Well, let's see what it says. Um, no trespassing after dark. So you could technically go in there during the day. I don't see a problem. Might. I might just walk in there, I might get ticks or something on me, but screw it. Everybody's looking because it's a busy ass road. Anyways guys, I just want to say that this summer is going to be the best summer of 2020. Um, it's going to be full of uh, stuff and adventures. Ah. Let me just get it in there. Fuck it. Yeah, hopefully no snakes back here. Don't want that. But this year, 2020, is going to be full of adventures. We're waiting. Um, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, after lockdown, it's going to be the best year ever, I think. See, this is a good spot to camp if you are homeless or something. Very good spot. It's uh, secluded. Tall trees above you. Uh, plenty of uh, stuff to bushcraft with. The only thing you got to worry about is ticks and snakes. Just about. This is my bike. I bought it for 50 bucks. As you can see pretty sick pretty cheap too I mean rides well if you pump up the tires good enough but um yeah I used to when I was a kid I used to come back here and party pretty much before they built this road this road used to not even be there it used to be forest only here let me get out and make sure I have no ticks on Mark.
Yep, no ticks. It's gonna go down a bit further. Uh, but yeah, this summer is gonna be one of the best summers ever. My mind, uh, everybody just can't wait to get outside. There's the uh, electric line for the whole city. It goes that far, it's woods only. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna see a lot of people going outside. Yeah. But, uh, thing is, like, people are gonna realize that they've been missing out a lot on um, everything during this quarantine, so they're just gonna go out all summer. Make sure you get the best of it, you know, get back to work, stuff like that. Me personally, I'm just gonna travel after the quarantine's over. Uh, I'm just stuck here in Virginia Beach right now. <clears throat> I mean, uh, there ain't much to do here. It's pretty nice here, but it's miserable during the winter. It's springtime, almost summer. Can't wait for it. Oh look, the park is actually filled with people. This is nuts. We call this park Six Courts. Um, there used to be a lot of fights here and stuff after school. Let's see. Yeah, there's some people playing basketball. Right on your left. Yep, a lot of people there. Um, but yeah, it's kind of. I'm on the almost next to the Chesapeake border side of Virginia Beach, so ain't much really to do here. You can try physical activities and stuff like that, but uh. Really, I just uh, try to vlog as much as I can. Nice bike ride, though. There's an apartment. I was trying to move in these before, but they are so much money. It's insane. It's insane because uh, Virginia Beach, like, you have to make about forty thousand to fifty just to live comfortably. I mean, technically, it's almost like we're trying to be like Los Angeles, California, where we're taxed to death, and um, and uh, I don't know. It's just everything's expensive here. Houses are expensive. They're like three hundred thousand. Sorry, I'm running out of breath. I'm going the back way. But, um, I used to work here at Royal Farms. It's a pretty cool spot. Um, yeah, it's pretty expensive here. Like, Houses go for 300000 on average for a little two-story. I mean little, like, for real. Like maybe a two-bedroom, two-bath, or three-bedroom, two-bath. Something like that. 
Yep. But anyways, um, just giving you guys a little video of me riding a bike. Just traveling, you know. I'm going to be doing a lot of this in the future. Except I'll be walking with a backpack. Really, the thing is, the reason why I want to travel so cheaply is because I can, uh, want to travel so cheaply because I can never uh, like get far get ahead in life like I always get behind more and more but why not take a risk and get out in the world take your car take your boot hiking boots on and just go and run away travel you know every time that I uh, I get into situations like it gets crazy and it's like worth documenting my life on the road like that, you know, so, shoot. There's a park behind there too. Yeah. Yeah, I can never get a, a head in, cause uh, without a college degree, um, most jobs, like, that pay well, they're not even hiring, or they won't call me back or something. And uh, I'm just sick of it. Like, I've been doing this for years. I'm, I am, uh, I'm 27. I'm ready to get out and um, just tour the world. And... I'm just sick of uh, just staying at one place, you know, I'm a nomad, that's what really lies within me, you know, so, um, I am a survivalist too, I try to, try to, um, get it out to the outdoors as much as I can, um, but the good thing is, is like, oh, there's a cool car, check this thing out. But, um, that's like a three-wheeled car, trike or something. But, um, anyways, there, there's no getting ahead, because if you stay in one place, you're just going to get ramped up on bills, and it's just going to keep adding up, and then you can never get ahead, you can never save money. But why not travel with the money you make? or make it on the road and spend it on the road and just keep doing the cycle. I mean, there's no other way to put it. If you don't have a salary, I'd say, and your life set with a house and everything, if you don't have those things, I, I, I would I would uh, try to attest to you guys that you should travel. Um, travel, go where you have never been before I'm hitting up Florida though first Florida yeah seems like a fun thing you know so all right guys I'll catch y'all later PC on the other side